If you are working with a tight budget and you want to build a new gaming PC, this video is going to be for you. I will show you three different PCs for all resolutions, 1080p, 1440p and 4K between $500 all the way up to a thousand. So if you have a budget between those numbers, stay until the end because I will show you the perfect PC for your needs, your budget and your resolution. I will also show you the level of performance that you can get with each system at the ideal resolution. All the links to these PCs will be down below in the video description. With that being said, let's start. With the first PC we have a budget 1080p computer going for around 550 bucks. And this one has the Ryzen 5 5500 for the CPU and then the RX 6600 for the GPU. This CPU and GPU combo will allow you to play at 1080p resolution 70 plus FPS on average. And by the way, this is from a very high demanding test from TechSpot where high demanding games such as Howard's Legacy and Cyber Punk 2077 are being tested at 1080p ultra settings. So usually you can expect higher FPS than 70 on average. And if you want to play esports titles, you can expect around 144 plus FPS on average in games like Valorant, CS2, Fortnite, and these type of shooters. Then for the rest of the components, we have a B450 motherboard that has BIOS flashback, which might be needed to support the Ryzen 5 5500 CPU. If you do not know what BIOS flashback is, don't worry, it's just a feature in the motherboard that's going to allow you to update the motherboard that way it recognizes the Ryzen 5 55 bandwidth. It's not complex, if you're new to PCs do not get overwhelmed by this, it's very easy and straightforward and a motherboard that has this feature is actually going to make your life much easier. Then we have 16 gigs of DDR4 memory which is going to be enough for gaming, a one terabyte Gen 3 SSD, a micro ATX case with plenty of airflow and three pre-install fans which is going to be like saving because if you need to add more funds yourself it can get quite expensive and on top of that is more steps for you to do when building a system and then last but not least we have a 600 watt 80 plus gold power supply so for 550 bucks you're getting a perfectly fine 1080p 70 plus fps on average system that will allow you to play on high to ultra settings depending on the game and depending on the settings if you're wondering why didn't i go with nvidia or intel i will talk about that later on this video so if if you want to find out, stay until the end. Moving up to 1440p resolution, we have the budget 1440p gaming PC. This one is going for $817. This one has the Ryzen 5 56 angry, which is faster than the 55 angry from the last system. It's a six core 12 thread processor that's going to be perfect for the graphics card that I'm going to talk about, which is the RX 6750 XT. This is a 12 gigs of VRAM graphics card going for $340 by the time that I'm recording this video. And this CPU and GPU combo will allow you to play at 1440p 78 FPS on average. On one of the latest tests from TechSpot at 1440p ultra settings, the 67 XT was able to average around 74 FPS and the 6750 XT is just slightly faster. So you can expect about 78 to 80 plus FPS on average at 1440p high to ultra settings. You can usually expect even higher FPS if you either lower the graphic settings to high or if you use FSR which is the upscaler from AMD. In that case you will be able to average 85 plus FPS with no issues which is a very smooth experience in this type of games. And if you want to play esports titles as I said before Valorant and this type of games, you can expect 240 plus FPS on average, 1440p or 1080p resolution. Then we get a B550 motherboard that's amazing, has plenty of features and is actually quite cheap at the moment. Then we get 32 weeks of RAM which is going to be amazing not only for gaming but also for streaming, productivity work and content creation applications. Even though if you are working with this type of a budget and you are a creator, then I would recommend a different system. But for the most part, it's definitely capable of doing some live content creation which is nice considering that this is a very good gaming computer. Then we have a 1TB Gen 4 SSD that I tested in one of my most recent builds that I made for esports titles. So if your favorite game is an esports type of game, then I highly recommend you watching that video. You will have it in the top right of the screen. And that PC is also affordable. So if you can afford this PC, then that PC is probably within your budget. Then for the case, we have a great deal. This is a $50 case at the moment because it's on a discount, but it's usually going for 80 bucks. I'm talking about the Fantex G360A. It's beautiful. As you can see, it has a front mesh panel, three pre-installed fans, which I added one more for you to install in the back. RGB fans, by 
by the way, in my opinion, one of the best looking cases in the entire market. And for 50 bucks, I think that is a total steal. And last but not least for the power supply, we have a 650 watt 80 plus gold power supply from MSI, which is going to be reliable and it's going to be plenty of wattage for the system. Now, the price for this one is $820. You are getting amazing performance at 1440p, or if you want, you can play at 1080p, very high frame rate. But as I said before, there's a cheaper system if you want for about 760 bucks if you choose the RTX 3060 12 gigabyte version for your GPU. Now, you are losing a ton of performance here, even though the 3060 is a bit faster than the 6600 from the 1080p system, you will be achieving about 60 plus FPS on average at 1440p high settings, depending on the game, of course, which is a nice experience for the price, don't get me wrong. But the thing is that the 6750 XT is about 40% faster, and at the end of the day, you are spending 50 to 60 dollars extra, which is not a huge amount of money. Now, if the difference is out of your budget, then by all means, go with the 3060, you will be getting a 60 plus FPS on average experience at 1440p. Very nice for starters, but if you want the best price to performance value system, I think going with the 6750 XT for gaming is the better option. And then if you want to play at 4K on a budget, then for around $1,000, you can get a 4K 60 plus FPS on average experience or even higher FPS. And I will explain why in a second. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, click the subscribe button. It's going to help the channel a lot. And I'm going to be super grateful. Anyway, back to the video, we have the same Ryzen 5 56 with same 32 gigs of RAM, one terabyte of Gen 4 SSD. We also have the same case because honestly, it's a great deal. But then why this PC is good for 4K resolution instead of the last one? Well, I went with the RX 7800 XT for the GPU, which has 16 gigs of VRAM and is faster than the 6750 XT. In fact, it's going to be around 40% faster when it comes to gaming performance to the 6750 XT. And this system is not only great for 4K 60 plus FPS on average, but it's also going to be ideal for 1440p high FPS. So if you want a 1440p 240 hertz monitor you can use this system and if you want to start playing at 4k this pc is going to be great as well now if you play easy to run titles let's say you play games like minecraft at 4k or you play gta 5 and you want to connect it to a 4k tv then you are going to be getting very high frame rates actually and much more than 60 plus fps but if you want to play the latest AAA titles then you will be achieving between 50 to 60 fps depending on the settings but in these type of games i do recommend you turning on fsr which is the upscale from AMD and it's going to allow you to achieve those consistent 60 to 70 plus FPS on average and at 4k resolution the upscaler works better so if you're going to play at 1440p or 1080p then FSR might be questionable depending on the games that you play but at 4k it works really nice and it's going to give you a much better image quality than if you use it at 1440p or 1080p then you also get an aftermarket CPU cooler this is an RGB white cooler that's just $20 and it's not necessary if you want to save 20 bucks you can stick to the stock cooler but in my opinion an aftermarket cpu cooler is going to give you a better aesthetic and it's also going to give you better noise levels and lower temps for the cpu and honestly for just 20 dollars in my opinion is worth it the price for this system as i said before is around a thousand dollars when i'm recording this video and the reason why i didn't choose nvidia for most gpus in this video except for the rtx 3060 is because on a budget i think amd is better in terms of price to performance now now, if you have higher budgets, let's say you want to buy a high-end system, then NVIDIA is a great choice for GPUs like the RTX 4090, 4080 Super, or 4070 Ti Super. But if you are on a lower budget, the AMD GPUs are going to give you more performance for a cheaper price. So if your focus is gaming, AMD is actually going to be better at this price point. And I am not an AMD fanboy or an Nvidia fanboy because trust me, I made a ton of pieces with Nvidia GPUs. It's just going to depend on your favorite titles and also your budget. And the reason why I didn't go with Intel for the CPUs and I went with AMD as well is because I do like the upgradeability of the AMD platform. If you want to upgrade down the line with the motherboards that I mentioned here, you can upgrade 
up to a Ryzen 7 5700X 3D, which is a very fast CPU. Now, if you go with Intel and you want to upgrade, let's say to an i9 14900K down the line, you will need to upgrade the motherboard because a budget motherboard is just not going to support those high-end CPUs from Intel. Also, building PCs and understanding components might be a little difficult. So if you're looking for a system and you want me to help you out personally, down below in the top link in the description, you will have my personal PC help where I will go over your budget, your needs, and anything that you want inside of your new gaming system. And I will give you the perfect PC that's going to fit your needs. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support. And I will see you on the next one.